Hey, Mary here with Pause for Inspiration and welcome to your trip, uh, an adventure it will be in learning how to connect with your inspired mind, being able to interact with this wisdom, this love and this peace that is within you now. Yeah, it's not a future event, okay? Inspiration is not a future event. <clears throat> it's very present and focused in this moment, and it's living within your heart and your mind and your very being, and uh, is very willing to uh, help you, help me, help us all, right? Uh, I think of pause as kind of um, a... Uh, public service announcement <laughs> because when is there not uh, a time in any of our lives uh, day to day where we don't fall into a moment or an hour or more of dispiritedness which simply means um, we forgot we we forgot that we have full access to inner inspiration that inspiration um, is uh, within our reach and um, we all experience that, right? We become discouraged or we lose our sense of direction or we feel overwhelmed with the task of the day. Um, or maybe we need help with uh, setting goals uh, or something even like a vision. What is the vision for my life beyond my day-to-day -to, -day to do? And most importantly, how can I simply be present here and now? and um, encourage others and uh, live a life that's um, meaningful. Pause covers a lot of ground, as you can tell by what I just said. <laughs> so it really is limitless. It's, it's unlimited on what you can use the pause practices for. But even though its scope is unlimited, um, it's broken down into four easy steps. And I'm not saying um, that, oh, you know, your life will completely turn around and, and all of that just in four easy steps. You know, call 1-800-722-333. Uh, well, we're not, uh, not being as naive um, as all that. Um, rather simply providing a simple practice that you can use, I can use, we all can use, wherever we are, whatever we are doing, and whomever we are with, to help us to pause, that's the first step, help us to step back, to get out of our own way, second step, Help us to step aside. It means to really open, to welcome this inspiration, wisdom into our awareness. And then to engage in a brief conversation uh, with that inner wisdom, with whatever's on our mind in the moment, and, and ask, you know, is there another way to see this? What would be truly helpful now? That's the third step. And then the fourth step is to let inspiration guide, let wisdom guide. So when I get that inner prompting, that little nudge or, ah, oh, the light goes on, I receive that wisdom. Then the kind of bigger leap is to actually follow that inner wise guidance that is always safe, always kind, always truly helpful. Okay, so no one's getting harmed in the process. <laughs> so as, as what we teach little kids, you know, and it's like a little kid says, well, inspiration, you know, I heard to beat up my little brother. And it's like, well, no, <laughs> inspiration did not tell you to beat up your little brother. Uh, that would not be your inspired mind because your inspired mind uh, is always safe, wise, kind and truly helpful. So in this fourth step, it's about following. And it could be anything as simple as when you're running your errands or doing your work for the day and prioritizing 
Uh, you may go to do something and then get that little pause in your mind saying, uh, go do this first, you know, and, and then sure enough, if you don't follow, you'll find out like, oh yeah, I guess I should have listened. Do you know what I'm talking about? That, that inner voice, if you will. And it could be in those small things of life, which is really what life is, right? It's a bunch of small things <laughs> in our day. Um, or it could be the seeming bigger decisions in life. Um, so pause is a simple practice that can be used in everyday life to access inner wisdom, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and whomever you're with. And it can really um, potentially help to you to be encouraged, to be motivated, and um, to be present for others and in your relationships, and have uh, relationships that are based in love and in truth and in peace, that uh, it can bring healing into your life. And healing is simply moving from an experience of disconnection to an experience of connection. So am I moving away from connecting or am I moving towards connecting? Pause can help you in your work, in your relationships, in your everyday activities, um, in the fun time that you have. Pause can help you to rest, something we um, a lot of us don't get enough of. They can find that rest in our minds in the midst of everyday life. And also take the time to rest, to calm, to step back. So here we go on our adventure of pause and um, have fun. <laughs>